Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, it's been a really long time since I did like a proper sit down video. But today I thought I would sit down and do a DIY where I'm going to share with you all 8 beneficial uses or beauty uses of using rice water in our skincare and also our hair care. So let's jump straight into the video. The ancient Chinese, Japanese and Korean uh, ladies had really long thick hair and it had so much shine and even their skin they never had pimples they never had pigmentation they had really nice glowy skin and amazing luscious hair and one of the main secret ingredient is rice water and I do work with a few Chinese colleagues in my office and when I asked them and they told me about rice water I actually started trying it and it does make a big difference in the way the way your hair feels and the way your skin looks and um, so basically rice water has a lot of um, vitamins minerals and amino acids it is anti-inflammatory and antioxidant in nature in a nutshell if I have to tell you what rice water could do to you it would moisturize your uh, skin your hair it was it would brighten your skin remove any kind of pigmentation or acne spots or pimples um, and it would help in anti-aging and also help in um, calming your skin if if you're having any kind of skin issues it would definitely help to soothe and calm your skin so let's jump straight into seeing what are the different methods of doing a rice water so i've just taken some um white rice here you could take either white brown or uh, red rice depending on your preference and make sure to wash your rice thoroughly so i've thoroughly washed the rice and i've just added some water to it so this is the first way or method of um, getting our rice water by just adding some water to the rice um, cleanly washed rice um, and just soaking it there for about 30 minutes so this method is the concentrated method where you just boil the rice and the water together to make sure that you get most out of the rice into the water so I've got my uh, strained rice water here and the method how I store my rice water is either in an ice tray or um, empty container. In this situation I'm actually filling up my ice tray as well as um, the empty container with the rice water. Um, I usually store the rice water in the fridge for about one week and after that I you know prepare a new batch and the ice cubes I use them for about uh, 15 days and after that I do a new batch because we keep boiling rice almost every day so you can make fresh batches as and when. So the third method of how you get the fermented rice water is just open the, the lid and leave it in open for about 24 hours and once you start getting that pungent smell is when you know that your fermented rice water is ready to use. One of the first uses of um, rice water would be using it as a toner or as a face mist on your skin. Take the rice water out of the fridge. Make sure to give it a good shake before you use it on your skin. Either pour the rice water on a cotton pad and apply it on your skin or give your skin a good spritz just like how I'm doing it here but just ensure that you press the product into your skin so that you help your skin to absorb the benefits better. The second method of using rice water would be when we do like a DIY face mask, yogurt, egg or even a sandalwood powder. You could just add um, 
your rice water instead of rose water or just normal water it would help your skin to calm down and it will soothe your skin of any kind of redness or any sunburns as well the third form or the third way of using um, rice water is um, to minimize your pores or using it like a ice ice treatment So the next use of um, rice water is for any kind of skin conditions. So if you have eczema or any kind of skin flare up, just take nice cold rice water from the refrigerator and then just pour it over that particular area and allow it to dry. The next use of using rice water is by mixing it with a little bit of aloe vera gel and then applying it on any kind of sunburn. So if you're traveling to a really hot place and then you get rashes or sunburn on your skin, mix this with a little bit of aloe vera and just apply it. You can also do like a mask by mixing both of them, allowing, it, allowing your skin to like absorb all the goodness and it will really help to calm down your skin the next method how you would use um, rice water on your hair is you could use it as a hair rinse so obviously after you finish your shampoo and your conditioner you just need to use rice water as your final rinse and then just you know towel dry your hair this would really help your hair to grow longer and thicker and it would remove any kind of flare up on your scalp as well so the next method or the next use of using rice water is uh, as a hair mask so the fermented rice uh, water, which has that pungent smell, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be quite smelly, but you need to just spritz that all over your hair. I'm just taking the fermented rice water here and just spritzing it all over my hair. Just make sure that you cover your scalp and your hair as well. And this is really going to help to remove any kind of product buildup or any uh, scalp issues that you have. And it's, all, it's also going to give a nice shine and promote hair growth. Tie it into a bun and just leave it on. Leave it on for about 30 minutes and then wash your hair with shampoo and conditioner and you will instantly see that your hair is a lot shinier and it adds a lot of volume and if you're looking to grow the length of your hair, definitely try incorporating rice water in your hair care routine. The last and final way how you could use rice water in your um, beauty routine is by actually bathing with rice water. So instead of using lush bombs or the different bath bombs that you have, you actually bathe in rice water. It's gonna help your skin to really calm down. And you know, we have these kind of darkness around our elbows and knees it's going to remove all that dead skin and help you have that nice shiny and glossy skin and have you noticed that many of these high-end brands and body shop and korean skincare brands have come up with a lot of their face masks and uh, you know moisturizing creams which have rice water in them so when you can naturally do it at home and incorporate it in your skincare and your hair care routine why not 
If you did enjoy my video today, please give this one a like, share it with your friends and do subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to hit on that bell icon below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.